Today, I'm going to be talking about the new update to FBA Multi-Tool. Yes, you heard it right. FBA Multi-Tool has had some big changes with its look and features. And if you don't want to miss out, stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson, and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years doing the online arbitrage business model. Now, pretty much I post videos all the time about Amazon selling and specifically online arbitrage. So if you are interested in learning about everything that I'm learning, and recently this year, we've just broken the one million pound mark over the last nine months, then do make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. You're gonna get notified for all the top tips and tricks that I'm sharing that I'm learning in my journey with you on this this channel. But hey, enough about me. What are we going to go through today? First things first, I'll give you a little bit of an introduction, a backstory. Number two, I'll talk about what is FBA multi-tool. Number three, I'm going to share about the update, the 2021 update, what's happened now, and give you a live screen share with it. Number four, I'll go through who's going to benefit from this finally. I'll actually go through some top tips for you that will really help out. Let's jump into it now. Okay, so first things first, let's give you a little bit of a backstory. So in the previous months, FBA Multi-Tool announced that there are going to be an update on their extension. And this has been quite some time that they've been working on this. My team have gone through the process of exploring the tool because you know, there's been massive changes since you know, the update or in terms of the look, feel and the features of the product. Why I make this video now, isn't it too late since the update was in August? My team and I have really just been adjusting to it, really getting feel for it and actually how to get the best out of it. We wanted to make sure that you're, we're providing you with the information once we've had enough knowledge to understand what's actually changed and used it for a good period of time and obviously to decide if this is the calculator for you. Now this leads me quite nicely on to what is FBA Multi-Tool? Well look, as you might know, FBA Multi-Tool is a Chrome extension that allows you to analyze a deal, which allows you to help make the right decisions when sourcing and analyzing the products that you're finding to buy to resell on the Amazon marketplaces. You simply just put in the price of the product and it, with one click, it's gonna give you everything like the ROI, the profit, the margin, the break even, other fulfillments, it'll give you all those fees, it'll calculate them in, and it will just allow you to understand if this deal meets your criteria, if it's a good deal or not, and to give you the information that you need. But it's not only limited to that, it also helps you in analyzing deals that I'll also talk about in the next chapter. So we'll kind of go on with that. Quick question for you guys, are you currently using FEA Multi-Tool or are you thinking about using it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to put a yes or like thinking of changing. I'm really interested to know how many people, how many of my viewers are interested in this tool. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so before I jump into the live screen share, if you are interested in using FEA Multi-Tool and you want to get a free three-day trial, I'll drop my affiliate link down below where you can actually access this, this great software, try it for three days for free and obviously see if it's right for you. So just have a look in the description down below. I'll drop a link there. What I'm going to do now is jump on the computer and just talk you through. So I'll kind of give you a guide and highlight certain features that if you say around the deal, you know, this deal analysis software and, and like what's happened and the changes. Okay, so I've just loaded into the actual, she say, our web page now with a product on and you can see FBA multi-tool here, FMT just loaded up in the middle. It used to sit on the right hand side, but now it's actually moved into the middle. And it's certainly, if I kind of scroll down, it's certainly a lot uh, cleaner, smaller, more compact tool. Beforehand, it did take up quite a bit of space, but right now it's quite, it's a lot simpler. So a couple of things to kind of think about or to kind of show through, you get, you know, really quite simple here, product information, you've got like kind of going through, you've got like the sales rank, which is quite useful. One thing they've added here is like the top 1%. I don't think I remember seeing that in the previous one, but again, it's just, a, it's a lot smaller. It's a lot cleaner look. There's a few things which maybe like tweak, like, you know, hazmat, no, that's red. And I would probably want to see that as green being, that that red is a vision indicator me telling it's the wrong color. So a few areas to like kind of just tweak on there, I kind of get rid of that. Get of the hazmat stuff. Now you've got things like VA check-in if you're a VA, you've got the sales estimator as well. You've even got other stuff. So if you kind of look at like sales data, you can see who's on the listing. Oh, come over here. And that's just nice, smooth, quick, efficient. And it kind of shows you who's on the listing, their price and the type of fulfillment, which is great. And you can kind of get a feel here. So 
the buy box price over the you know the 30 day, the 60 day, and the 90 day, and then the, also the average rank. So you can get a really good feel for that and see how many sellers are. So that's fantastic. Okay, so if we move up to like the sales count, go to the next tab again. Very simple. We've just got it's got that really easy to get guide to look at. So if you're looking for 30% ROI, you can see you're going to be looking for a buy price of £10.76 or 40% ROI buy price of £9.99. I love that. I thought that was a brilliant feature. Still got that. Again, you can add in like voucher discount codes, change your buy price, and flick on ENF mer uh, fulfillment by merchant, add in postage and packaging for one, and obviously calculate your profit. Now, if you jump over to the advanced tab, there's a couple of things here. It's got like PL detector. So that is, you know, it's a different format that they had before, a new design. It didn't have that like that. And it kind of gives you like a guide of you know how, you know, like I should say risky they think that is. And I think that's certainly a, a really good feature that's gonna just make sure that you're staying safe. So you know, that's now under there. So it gives you an idea of like how safe that product is. And, and that's something really important because selling private label products, selling IP products is a real dangerous thing. So something we certainly know about in Fast Track FBA, we always try and minimize that. Now you've got down here score. So it kind of gives you a bit of a rundown, like what's the overall score? And it does the analysis. It talks about like ROI, competition. Again, it gives you a bit more like kind of granular detail about that in a nice, clean, easy to see formats so of like great sales, great rank, but the buy bot, profit, Amazon and ROI, are just not really there for this product. So something to really think about, but it does have a good score. They say 55%, probably because of the other factors. And then you can even have a look at like EU marketplaces. So what's going on there? So I really quite like that as well. Now, if you kind of jump over the other ones that you might want to have a quick look at are, you've got the menu options. You've got a lot of that, like the dashboard, you can jump in and obviously we'll hide the, the activation code there because that's my code. But you can see also in the dashboard itself, it kind of talks about the devices that have logged in and um, you can reset devices. You can also as well come down to like your settings. So you can put in here like general settings, so like all your different prep. So you've got like right mouse click search, right mouse click calculator, history results. You can do the history data graphs. I use Keeper as an add-on, but they do have their own Keeper-like graphs, which are good. Buy box rotation history, which is useful, product variation. And also as well, you can do custom app designs. So you can change the location of it, which is really, which is certainly a new feature that I quite like. So you can set your settings for Europe, that registered, for example. You know, for me, I am, but I haven't actually set that up yet. Lots of options there. I'm going to be, that's going to be quite confusing or quite a lot of stuff. USA, obviously if you're in the US, and for me, I am selling in the US, so you can put in the inbound shipping per pound or sales tax. Also export, where you want to export, what tabs you want to include them in, so you can like set the, what, in a column it is going to be for each tab and then also like deal analyzer so putting in your deal criteria is going to be super important and you can even connect to mws keys which is just going to help you out to really get connection to your amazon account which is going to be there and i think also as well you can here hide it down so you can just hide it like actually i just want to review more of the product again makes it nice and small and i think one of the big things we always see with all these kind of tools is actually they start to take up a lot of screen space and so it's quite nice to see that condense quite small and the ability to even hide it pretty much which is so helpful. So certainly a lot slicker, a lot smoother, and you know, very just like nice and fast, very easy to use. So certainly a big, big improvement there. Now, what I will say about the update in terms of design, that it is very minimal and it is very light. And so the loading tool is you know a lot faster. And I think that's something super important. You know, time is money in this game. And you know, the previous version where the color used to be like a dark blue or like a dark greeny, you know, that was based on my Teams version, it wasn't as fast. This is faster now. And not only that, also it occupies less space on the page. Before it used to occupy two spaces, now it's one. So it's just smaller, faster. And I think that's a really good thing. So you can get the right information quite quickly. Now, aside from the advantages uh, in regards to new changes, my team, should we say, one of the issues they do have just with it is the font size. It is quite small, and I did mention that earlier, that it can make it a bit harder to read compared to the old version. But other than the font size, it's it's also sometimes labor intensive because you've got to kind of flick through different tabs, which kind of slows it down a bit. So maybe having the option to just kind of like customize your dashboard would be quite useful. You, you can see it on the top, you've got these kind of like tabs, which is great, but the problem is you're hiding information in, and it means you've got to like click more tabs to do something, and really what you want to be able to do is just have everything right there very concise so maybe the ability to like create your own tab with exactly what you want to see to do the analysis 
could be a real good kind of like next level version two design, which is going to be great. But you know, like things like PNL detector, I probably want to see that quite early on and, and get a feel for that. So having everything in one page, we've been quite useful with a lot of tools, but I appreciate there's always a balance between having a small tool, which is minimal, but also as well, having it you know available fast and easy to use. Okay, so we're now looking at FBA multi-tool and also this is the updated version. And I've been using this tool for years and so have my team. And we use these tools, profit calculator tools to speed up our sourcing because we understand time is money. You know what, we want to make money in this business and that takes time to find deals. And if you're maybe like me and you value your time and you realize it's probably your most important asset and perhaps maybe you're struggling to find deals, what do I recommend? Well, look no further than Fast Track FBA Leads. This is a service I created whereby we've got a team of BAs in the USA and another team in the UK sourcing seven days a week looking for all the deals. What do we do? We put every single one of our deals onto our web platform. You can look at the deals, you can review them all, pick and choose the ones that you want and then unlock the supplier, buy the products, and then ship them to Amazon, resell them and make profit. We do a lot of the analysis for you and also 90 day and the current price and so much more information. If you are interested, have a look down below. Fast Track FBA leads, trust me, I think you're gonna really love it. Okay, so this leads me nicely on who is gonna benefit from the new FBA multi-tool update. So if you are looking for a tool which loads easily and you know is very minimal and actually very efficient on your screen space, an FBA multi-tool is for you. That is because this tool loads fast, and I mean super fast. Like, I was like, wow, this is up quick. And also time is money. So in regards to loading, this is gonna be really good for you. Now, if you wanna improve your sourcing and purchasing process, then FBA multi-tool can definitely help you because the in-depth details like you know, the data provided, you know, performance ROI, competition, sales, even like the PL detector, you know, even like the excellent average on that deal analysis that we looked at, that is really gonna help you in working out whether the ROI, profit margin, break-even price are gonna be right for you and your business. So, and that's including all the fees like that, FBA, et cetera, et cetera. Using a tool like FBA Multitool is gonna be really helpful for you because it allows, allows you to analyze that deal and make sure that the deal that you're analyzing is ideal for you and your business and what you're doing. So if that's you and you want that in like a minimal screen space and a fast loading time, then I say certainly check this out. And hey, you know, do check out that three free day trial with affiliate link down below that you can you know, see if this is gonna be right for you without having to put any money down. Obviously, I'll drop a link down in the description for that free three day trial using my affiliate link. Now, a couple of top tips for you. Well, look, first things first, what I'm really gonna recommend is take your time to explore the actual, the tool itself, how it works, and really understand all the features of it. Once you've understood all the features and the way they work, then what I'd really recommend you do is actually document the process that you go through in the optimal solution. Again, time is money, and the reason why we like this is because the tool is very fast. You, you could see that in the actual in the, the screen share. So if what you, if you're understanding, like, okay, so I go to this tab, I look at those three things, then I go to this tab, and I look at that thing, and I go to that tab, that, and if I meet all that criteria, then I'm done. So if you work your way through that process, build that kind of like step-by-step -step process, that's gonna make you super fast. Time is money. So now I'll say this and I've seen it with myself, I've seen it with my VAs, and I've seen it with other people. They just kind of hop, skip around, go to different places, and actually that is slowing you down. So build a really quick, efficient workflow that's gonna help you out. That is my top tip for anyone using any calculator tool, and I think this is certainly valid for FBA multi-tool. Now, what I will say is after going through, should we say, the, the new update, one thing which I recommend and learning how to really understand analyzing a deal, how to read keeper charts and do deal analysis for Amazon Arbitrage. I'll drop a link to that video around here. But what I will say is hopefully you like this video and if you have, give it a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, do hit the subscribe button just down below. But from me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FDA, thank you very much.